嘿、hey, ，大家好，我是三大猪许群啊。现在呢，我们是在山城重庆，在重庆的阿维塔的交付中心，给大家带来今天的节目。因为我们对这个车的第一印象就是这车长得真漂亮，特别是它尾部设计的非常的特别。所以今天陪我们一起在这里来了解这个品牌的，还有阿维塔科技的首席设计官 Nader， 他带我们一起看一看，聊一聊它的设计、它的 styling、它的生活方式。走吧。Nader. I started with uh, Shanghai. I came to Shanghai, visited uh, our friends and employees at Avatar uh, in Shanghai. Then we went to Beijing, yeah, your city, yeah. and um, <laughs> short step over there. So, and then come came to Chongqing. Okay, yeah. cool. First question, mm, Nader, how do you understand the requirements or difference? Of Chinese luxury car design, after you having so kind of uh, early career, uh, be involved in some luxury car brand like BMW for years. Indeed, uh, this is um, a big history. I was with BMW for a long time, 18 years. There was a lot of learnings from the very advanced design phase towards.
sense of the future, but we should we don't want to do retro. Um, but if you do everything completely different, then it won't look like a car anymore. We should not forget it's not just an experimental car, but it should have the sense of a extreme car in some areas to just create character. So as you mentioned, the rear end is very special. So it's very unique. And it was also a challenge to convince uh, the stakeholders in our company to do such a design. So this is the challenge in design, how to sell the story. But the best thing is through proving, asking customers and they compare it and then they can give direct feedback. So let's talk about some details, some special details. Yeah, uh, How to set the uh, exterior um, radar sensor or some detectors which the, the holistic design then you create this mind body of Avita 11. For us it was very important
Yeah.